Hey, Rick Salmon here. Thanks for joining me for this lesson on black and white and duotones. We're going to cover a lot more than that, by the way, in this lesson, so stay tuned. When we take out the full color from an image, that image can look more creative. And that's what Photoshop is about for a lot of people, including me, making our images look more creative. And clients like their pictures to look more creative. Yes, like look at how creative this picture is, a nice angle, nicely lit and everything but we can make it look even more creative by taking out the full color. So, let's get going. First, I want to make a grayscale image. I'm going to go to Image, Mode, Grayscale. This is a quick and easy way to do it. Hey, we have a nice black and white, but it looks a little flat. Whenever I do something in Photoshop, I'm thinking, what else can I do to improve the image? So, I'm going to go to now Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast. Now, for you Photoshop experts, I know I should be using an adjustment layer, but I'm just going to show you quickly and easily how to how this effect can enhance our picture. So I'm boosting the contrast just a little bit to add a little drama to the picture, okay? It's just a little bit, but that's what Photoshop is all about. These little touches can really improve our pictures. So that's a quick and easy way. Image mode, grayscale, brightness, contrast, and by the way, if you don't know about adjustment layers, you go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Brightness Contrast, click OK, and I could do increase the contrast there, I'd click OK, and if I had my Layers palette open, we would see over here, I have an adjustment layer over my other layer. One of the advantages to this is if you don't like what you're doing, you can just get rid of that stuff. So, I'm going to show you a lot of things in this lesson. I'm not going to use adjustment layers, but keep in mind, please, that that's the way to do it. So, let's start again. Another way to create a black and white picture is to go to Image, Adjustments, Use Saturation, and totally desaturate the picture. You know what? I like that one a little better. As long as we're here, a few years ago when Kodak and Fuji introduced their super saturated films, everyone loved super saturated pictures like this. But look what happens when we take out just some of the color. I like this subtle effect. There's the black and white. So play around with the saturation.